All right, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is going to be a couple uh, key components and tricks and stuff like that you would need uh, to know when you, you know, you're editing and stuff like that as far as uh, Factory Talk ME or Factory Talk SE. In this version, again, we're talking about Factory Talk Site Edition. So we will be using the SE version, but again, when it comes down to it, these are all the standard stuff. So when it comes down to it, you're gonna to go to View, and in the View tab, you're gonna to go to uh, Toolbar, and the toolbar comes as uh, default as standard. So uh, no matter what you do, when you first start an application, you're gonna come in and it will be standard. No no, no worries about that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come into and add uh, graphics right here. This gives you the ability to add different things. Then you're gonna come back over here and you're gonna go to objects. You're gonna add the objects over here. So that's gonna give you different things you can actually use uh, later on in your editing and stuff of that nature. And you'll get to see these a little bit more fluently and the way we use these throughout this actual um, you know, training. So when we go down to it, we're gonna do the last one is the alignment. And the alignment is a really, really cool feature to have. Um, say for instance, if you did not have to, you don't have to right click or do different things, you can just merely come over here, like tap on a, like if you're aligning two different uh, graphics and stuff like that. Uh, say for instance, like piping in, in the instance, we will be doing piping um, or a tank or something of that nature we will need to actually align things properly so that they look and feel you know like a good solid implementation you want to not only do the task right you want to make it look and feel as good as it possibly can and be professional with your work so this is how they do that is they use um, alignment tools and stuff of that nature so i want to make sure you're well aware of the different things like back uh, style you can do that this is the back style uh, generally i don't usually keep that so I'll turn that off. You can do patterns, you can do different things, four color, back color. I generally just have the defaults of what we have right here. Now, um, when it comes over here, if your Explorer is not there, you can just type in or come over here and click Explorer. That will show the Explorer. This is uh, your application Explorer. So if we did not actually go over that before, I kind of want to go over that now because again, when it comes down to it, the more you know about the software and the better you can be as far as like fluently programming, getting around it, doing different things, and actually, you know, being successful with it. So this is the application explorer with the application level. This is the explorer on the actual communication level. Now, again, this is just showing the communication path that you currently have set up. This is not showing the communication path that we have already set up in our factory talk links. Uh, so when it comes down to it, that's just, you know, some tools, stuff like that. So you also have this toolbar over here where you can do uh, find, replace, uh, stuff of that nature, cross-reference. If you want to cross-reference, you can clear the cache. Um, if in Factory Talk SE has a, obviously it's more internet-based, not internet-based, but like HTML-based type system. Um, so when it comes down to it, you're going to have the ability to clear a cache if you need to clear the cache. Um, sometimes that is a factor depending upon what version uh, you're running and basically what kind of operating system you're running. You know, um, your computer may be a little bit slower. Um, if you're running like a thin client, it could be very fast. If you're running like a cloud-based system, it could be very fast. But in a case where you're using a standard computer with a low memory, like say for instance, like an eight gig or a 16 gig, something like that, it could actually need to have the cache cleared. Now we will be building this in a, an environment where we don't have to worry about the cache being cleared because of the simple fact of, well, uh, the the cache on this will we're going to build it where it automatically clears and refreshes every time you refresh the screen. So you can build your application where you don't actually need this, but this is an option too if you ever want to. Um, this was an easy way to get to Application Manager and launch a client as well. So I just wanted to give you a couple different things, and of course you can change your lang uh, your language of you know choice as far as whatever you want your application to be. Um, in my instance, it will be English, so that is what we will be training on, and that is what we will be showing. Now there is this uh, cross reference up here. This is a replace. This is find again coming over here, and there are e extra tools and stuff you can use. But again, these are the basic principles of how we're going to do things. Um, security runtime, security runtime, I like to keep right here. Um, this is where I'm going to edit it, and this is where I suggest you edit it as well. 
So uh, we will be talking about the security runtime, but when it comes down to it, I want to keep these videos short, sweet, to the point, so that you get the very best from it. And I know going through trainings, you know how things go. So you want to actually, you know, get the most out of it as short and you know compact as they can possibly be. So again, when it comes down to it, I wanted to go over a couple key components that will help you. And uh, you'll see these being used throughout, again, uh, the training that we're doing here. But I want to actually go over them and why we are actually going to add them into our system. Now, again, when it comes down to it, if I were to you know, open up a screen or something like that, we don't ha actually have a screen that we're using. But we will actually be using these tools, especially this Align tool, very, very much because it, it is a very... Uh, simple and it saves you time and makes you that much more efficient when you do this. So uh, with that said, we'll carry on to the very next video.